In this video, we will describe the current and voltage on a transmission line with a set of differential equations known as telegrapher equations, the solution to which are waves. Let's begin by drawing an infinitesimally short length of transmission line of length delta z And let's define a current and a voltage, both of which are functions of space variable z and time variable t. Now this transmission line section can be represented by a circuit model consisting of a series resistance, R delta z, a series inductance, L delta z, a shunt resistance G delta Z and a shunt capacitance C delta Z. Let's also define an input current and voltage to this T line section. and an output current and voltage. From calculus, we know that the derivative of the voltage with respect to the space variable z in this particular circuit is equal to the difference between the output voltage and the input voltage as the length of the transmission line delta z approaches zero. And from circuit theory, this is equal to minus r plus j omega l times the current i of z. Similarly, the derivative of the current with respect to z is equal to the difference between the output current and the input current as delta z approaches zero. And again from circuit theory we know that this is equal to minus g plus j omega c multiplied by v of z. If we then take the derivative of these two equations with respect to z and make a couple of substitutions, we end up with the following two differential equations describing the voltage and current on the transmission line. We can simplify these two equations by defining gamma squared as the term R plus J omega L times G plus J omega C.
So here are our two differential equations and next we will see that the solution to these equations are actually waves.